Hello guys and thank you for tuning in. My name is Daniel Carrizales and welcome to Stock Music Licensing. If this is your first time around here, I do stock music for a living and this is my YouTube channel where I actually share and document my journey. Now, I just want to talk to you a little bit about why does stock music in general sound so similar and why all of these tracks have the same kind of chord progressions and melodies and whatnot, and they all have the kind of like the same flavor. Uh, my opinion is that they're all supposed to sound very similar and they're all supposed to sound the same. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a fine line between actually copying somebody and being exactly the same and, and actually taking that as an influence or actually copying and taking elements of that and making it your own, which is what we're going for, you know? In my opinion, it's impossible for you to be like somebody else or to actually copy somebody else because you are an individual. And even you can take influence, you can study a certain style of music or any art for that matter. But once you're gonna create something, it will be your own. Pablo Picasso said something like, uh, good artists uh, copy and the greats steal. And that's a good that's a good concept you know i always try to keep that in mind i'm a big fan of picasso because not only of his painting and his artwork but as well his his philosophy of uh of life i actually go out there and steal from from that thing that i want to actually make mine and that idea for example when i started i didn't know about corporate music uh, i'm like you you know you probably play in a band already you're already involved in music you're already doing things around music either as a hobby or as a part-time thing or as a full-time thing. But when you go and say, I want to start doing stock music, it could be a little bit of a challenge. Like to me, I didn't know what corporate music was. I didn't even understand the concept, you know? So it took me a while to actually listen to this music and I made, and I made it my goal to actually uh, possess that, actually steal that element or steal the elements of people that I heard around. I will see what the market is, what, whatever other people have done already and it has proven to be successful. If you're in a rock band and you say that to me that your band sounds like Metallica and I have never heard your band and when I listen to it for the first time, it better sound like Metallica because that's what you're actually uh, projecting to me, you know? And it's the same goes for anything else. If I'm going to the movies and I wanna see a thriller or I wanna see a Stephen King uh, movie or a Steven Spielberg movie, I, know, I kinda have an idea what to expect, you know? It's the same with corporate music or it's the same with stock music. It has a different, it has a very, particular flavor or shades or colors when it comes to melodies and, and chord. The idea is to grab that idea, that concept of stock music and actually make it yours and actually steal that concept and actually make it yours, you know? And uh, it's a big exercise. I'm still working on my, on my tracks. I'm still working on my, for example, corporate, which is the bread and butter, as you have heard me before say, because it works for many on many situations. It can work on a presentation, it can work on a business uh, slideshow, it can work on a, on a phone when you're on hold, it can work in many, many situations and we want our music to be reusable. We don't want our music to be just used once or twice, we want it to be reused again and again and again. So corporate music fits that pattern. Even for me, when I put music on my videos, which I put them underneath just to give it some kind of atmosphere, even though I have different styles of uh, songs in my catalog and my portfolio, I, always, I usually go back to the corporate ones because it sounds like that. It sounds middle of the road. You know, there's some melodies going on in the background and it doesn't interrupt the actual uh, narrative or what I'm saying, if that makes any sense. So anyways, that's my thing. I mean, a good exercise is to just be so fucking laser focused with one thing and be obsessed to actually grab that idea and make it yours and yes, steal it and say, I'm going with the intention of copying this style of music. Not the person, not the individual, but the actual idea of the song, the idea of that sound, and actually go with no shame. I wanna steal that, you know, and I wanna make it mine. And, uh, and see what you come up with, man, you know? Uh, it's better like that, we feel less guilt and we feel uh, that we're on a mission, you know? And because we could never be like the other person, or like another individual, it will come across, when, when you're finished with your product, it will be yours, you know? Because we're not reinventing the wheel here, you know? We're just grabbing an idea and making it better. And in the marketplace, it's usually like that, you know? There's many products out there, uh, but they're just making that product better and better and better as time passes by, you know? And that, I think that's the key in any marketplace. 
Uh, it's just to make that product better. And again, and again, and again, as time passes by, you know? Anyways, man, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Hopefully, uh, these videos are helpful to you. Uh, if you're interested in starting uh, to do stock music, and uh, leave your comments on the comment sections and see uh, what's your take on this kind of topic. And uh, yeah, man, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. And uh, rock and roll. See you on the other side.